Hello everybody, this is my review, K drum review of Go Back Couple or Go Back Bubble Bubble. Actually, spoilers, lots of lots of spoilers. Alright, I'm gonna go from episode 1 to episode 12. It was so short. I thought it was gonna be a 16 episode drama, but nope. It went to 12, it ended quickly. I'm just talking about the moments I like from each episode. Starring Changna. Uh, she had another one. Uh, 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 I can't remember it. Sweet Dreams. Uh, if you know that song or something like that. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I can't remember it. And then uh, Song Ho Jun. Yep, he was in Tetafe. 1990, 1988 or 1994? No, no, 1994 or 1998 or 1997. Uh, see, there's not a night. Oh, I, I get confused with those ones. I was like, is there a 97 and a 98? I get confused. Or was it just a 94? See, I told yeah, I really get Hyo Chong Min. Yeah, these are the supporting cast member and Han Boron, Chang Ki Hyung, Kuo Bo Gyol. But this is with the G. That's what I was like, uh, Yol, but I'm like, Gyol? I can't, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Chong Mal Biyane. Young, oh my god, he's hilarious. Dokje. Dokje is hilarious in this <laughs> drama. Cho Hye Jong. She was in Hila. Pyong Jun. If you remember him, he was in, uh, I think, Dream High 1 or 2. He was a principal. And then also he was in, uh, recently, a uh, memoir of a murderer. He was the poetry teacher. Like, oh, life. Romance. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, he is so charismatic. <laughs> anyway, episode 1. Oh my god, I forgot. The baby. I forgot, uh, I forgot his name, but. <sighs> Sojin. Oh my god, you'll, you'll be like, it brought, it hurt, it brought the love tears. Oh, it starts out there, all lovey-dovey, oh my god, they're in love. Heart, heart. Yep, yep, they're all in love, they're having a good time. They show the wedding, and then after that, divorce. Oh, and then it shows one month later, they hate each other. Like, oh, the door I will, oh, they don't like each other. <laughs> like, wow. What, I'm like, what happened in this drama? They went straight to the divorce. So it shows they're together. Him, he looks tired. Her, she's very, very tired. Taking care of their son. Oh my god, he's so cute. Uh, yeah, and the thing is, she's walking down, and then she sees she's wearing, you know, the same old thing. She's becoming an Ajuma. And then she's like, Ma. and then she sees on the TV, like, oh, he liked me. <laughs> and then the, now... They, they're arguing. They're very unhappy in their marriage. He's trying to get money because the thing is, he's a pharmaceutical, I guess, salesman. And there's his doctors. Well, there's doctors. He takes them out to eat and stuff like that. He uh, wines and dines them. And they're like, yeah, I'll buy some of your medicines. And they're like, thank you. And they're like, oh, just hold me that. Just hold me that. And they're like, yeah. So he's doing all that. And then one of them, he protects them because it's his big client, I guess. And he cheats on his wife a lot, the client. And... The, Oh, him. He's like, yo, you get sick. That's what he is. A sick. So anyway, he's trying to cover up from the thing is they find out a hotel. Yeah, the thing is he lends him his card and he spends the credit card on the hotel. And then he's like, no, you gotta go. His wife's coming. His wife comes, puts him in a headlock. Then he like push her. He's like, how dare you hit my wife? It's, the thing is he's getting used and he's letting people roll over him. And then after that, uh, Jinju, my Jinju, sees the credit card statement. There. <gasps> what? A hotel? <gasps> I'm there. I'm there. The next, she calls like, "Where are you?" And he's like, "Cause he knows that he just had a bad day." And she's like, "I want a divorce. I want a divorce too." And that's when it happened. All that. The thing is, it was a misunderstanding about the divorce. Yes, yeah, shoot. Yeah, she didn't know what was going on. That he was using his card to help someone else. He shouldn't have done it. But the thing is, he was using it for wine and dining in hotels. But he did not cheat on her. She thought that. She was like, what the hell? You're not spending nothing on me, but you're spending all this? Yeah, then they divorce and all that. They throw their wings away. And they wake up in 1999. And they're like, oh, what's going on? And then it was crazy because uh, his name is uh, Che Bando. Bando looks at the ramen and he's like, it's expired. He's like, Aruma, what's going on? It's not expired. And then oh, he sees his room. He's back in his room. And then she's like, oh, and then she hears her mom. It goes back to her wake. I was like, oh, shoot. Her mom's alive, and now she's following her mom like a lost puppy. Like, And her mom's like, who the hell? Oh, they're getting ready to go to school, and then they see each other. They pass each other. 
And then she sees someone she likes because now he's rich in the future. And then we get to meet Bara! Oh my god. Well, we saw her earlier on in this episode too. She's a fitness instructor. She's cute. She's funny. Oh my god. She's like, you challenging me? <laughs> episode 2. So, Jinju sees her crush and she's like, Anyang. And then he's like, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, oh, what did I do? And then Bora's like, oh, how could dare you talk to him after what you did to him yesterday? What would I do? And then they show a flashback. He asked her out, and then she was like, no, because you smell. And then I'm like, wow, I'm like, yeah, no wonder he's mad at you. So now they're in, she's a history major. They have to give their presentation. Yeah, I forgot about, uh, I think it's during the Chosan era, and they're giving, oh my god, this presentation was meant to have an F. She keeps going on and on, it. she has the crowd going, and the teacher's like, wow, she's hot. F. <laughs> I was like, oh, they should have had Bora, or uh, Sul, uh, her, her friend, uh, wait, Sol, yeah, they should have had her go up there. But nope, they got an F. And next they go to the cafeteria, and she's looking at it, like, oh. One fifty for a meal? That's a good price. He's like, ah. There's a banner talking about, stop the reduced price. They're protesting about the price hikes. <laughs> Tell us why, director. <laughs> and then after that, Boron and uh, Chusan are looking at her like, <sighs> because she's eating like a slave. <sighs> so she's eating it up because they show a flashback. She would do like, oh, <sighs> Pebula. I'm like, what? She only had like two grains, two little, you know, the little, two little specks of rice? And you're full, woman? <sighs> hey, John, don't do that. <laughs> I was like, oh, don't ever do that in your life. <laughs> but, uh, I was like, wow, it's just too, no, but she's eating, she's enjoying it, and everyone's like, wow, I like her. So now, they're telling their friends the truth, that they're from the future, and all of them like, Kojima, Kojima, yeah, like Kojima, Narui, just so. All right, they think they're lying because it's so detailed. So, yeah, she, uh, Anju, uh, Ajinju told uh, Boran that she's gonna be a dance instructor. He's like, what a liar! Then Jinju gets hit on by you know. Oh, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah, by you know. From a bong bong ching chi. He's hitting on her. He's like, can I have your cell phone number? Oh, I don't have one. Uh, can I have your house number? I don't remember it. Uh, beeper. I don't think I have beep beep. And he's like, oh. <laughs> And then she remembers him. A uh, flashback. He's hitting on her too. And he's like, oh, I just want you. Look at this. Uh, he's an English lesson salesman. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, I got hit on by someone that's good looking. Yeah, he, the thing is, he hits on everyone in the block trying to uh, sell his, uh, I don't know if he's giving lessons or his uh, uh, center or something like that, <laughs> but it was funny. He's a, he's a good salesman. They need to have him a more comical stuff. Unless he's, if he's, yeah, if he, like if they're not coming back with another album, please, let him, let him act. All right, he's good. I like him in Poseidon, and I like him doing comedy. So now they're on a blind date. Bora's there, uh, Chuchol, uh, everyone's there. Uh, Jewu and uh, Dokje, they're there, everyone, and they have to pick their thing, and then oh, it was funny, Bando's like, oh, Bora, how do you know my name? Like, uh, uh, your book, and, oh. and then it was crazy, like, they're getting with each other, and then the thing is, uh, Bora likes uh, Jewu, and he picked her, and then it was crazy, and then now Dokje is like, pick the bomb, uh, like, pick her, come on, take one for the team, nope, because Twenty back in night when they were the real timeline, he picks uh, Jinju. He picks her again, and this time he's telling her off. And the next thing you know, you see <laughs> Dok Jack getting beat up by the bomb, beat the crap out of her. And uh, they have a fight. He walks away, and then he sees his first love. So in so in young, she's a ballerina dancer. Now she's walk. Uh, Jinju is walking around. She sees her son. It's not her son. She just saw a reflection, and now she's crying in the car. She's in the car of Namgil, the one she rejected. And he's just driving her, he's like, oh, and she forgot her wallet. And then they're going to go to sleep. Him, he's trying to stay awake. They go to sleep. They're still in 1999, episode 3. Jewu and Boron, they go on a date. They're having fun, they're having a nice time, and they're drinking. And then he can't handle his liquor. He's 
drunk. <laughs> He's falling over and everything. Oh my God. She carried him to his dorm room. She's like, oh, you better not mention. <laughs> it's kind of cute, but I'm like, wow, she's picking him up. Like, you know, it's the reverse piggyback, you know, like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, you do that thing. Me, I have a bad, I'm playing, I'm joking. But uh, I was laughing so hard, and then, yeah, he falls asleep right there. That was the end for that. But next, uh, he is happy that he's back in 1990. Uh, Bando, Bando <laughs> tells his father, Appa, get all of your ass assets, assets, all your savings, all the money, everything, and invest in land. Mora! What? Yes, you'll be rich. Come on, we need to stop living in this dump. Dump! Next, check up. He's like, oh. he's like, what? He gets a hammer. <laughs> he's like, Appa, I was happy when you were born. <laughs> so he needs money. Next thing you know, he sells his treasures. All his movies, all his mangas. I'm like, oh, like my babies. That's like me selling off my K-pop collection. Oh my god. Some of them I can't. A couple maybe I could, but some I can't because they have a sentimental value. Uh, in uh, the places I went, memories, but like, oh my, oh my god, and then like, some things I could sell if they gave me a good price, I don't want to sue super, super cheap and take a loss, no, I gotta make some profit, even if it's like, uh, no, I gotta say, I gotta make some profit, so now, Majinju and Chebondo, they see each other, like, let's live separate lives, they're in the same class together, and then they have to draw each other, and then, yeah, she draws him, big poopy, and she writes, chompini, Cheapskate and everyone. He's like, oh, 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 and then he remembers her saying, chung penny, chung penny, chung penny. I was like, wow. That was like the one word I really learned. <laughs> chung penny. I was like, is that real? Or is that a, I didn't know if it was slang or, but I was like, wow. Now the, he's like, what should we do? Let's go to the club. Yeah. And then the, he, she wants to, like, what should we do too? They go to the clubs. Now they're getting dressed up like models. Like, hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. They're ready to go have a night at the top, night at the town. They're wearing heels, and they have to walk down a steep hill. So you see, uh, Boran and uh, like, like walking step by step, and then she's walking down more, and then Jinju was like, ah, she's running down, and then Namgil stops her. I'm like, ooh, she sees her. She's in the arms of her first love, or first like whatever, and then they go to the club and they're having fun like. Yeah, and then she puts the light up. I'm like, oh, oh, no, put your hand out. You're about to get booked. Yeah, they do. They're booking, and then they're having fun. And then Jeju, <laughs> Jehu was telling everyone his life story, all the girls. But all the girls like Bando because he likes the party. Before he was, now he knows because he's lived. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, they're having fun. And then after that, his there's this doctor that well, he becomes a doctor in the future, but it's a they call him the douche. He sees him there like daggers and then she's drinking and then they're her thing they're drinking hard liquor and then next thing you know they're just having fun they're on the dance floor and then we hear uh uh bitching on burden <sighs> oh no you remember this it's look it up they do a dance with like and then we hear oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I was like, yeah, it's Kyote. All right, I know because of Kim Jong Min. Yeah, it was funny before. I didn't know he was in a group because I used to watch like X Men, uh, Love Love Love, uh, Love Letter, and all that. A uh, family, uh, one day, one night, one uh, one night and two days or whatever. Two nights, <laughs> one day, two nights. I used to watch those shows, and then I'm like, oh, he's in a K-pop group. Yeah, and so yeah, that's how I knew right there. I'm like, oh, well. so they're having fun. Next thing you know, she's drunk. She gets the mic. And then she's, t everyone's laughing, and then she's like, oh, John Penny, <laughs> you got him a cheapskate for that, everybody. And then she mentions, Session, the, the little baby. <sighs> Next, they're back at school, and there's a song playing, and I'm like, Young Pa. Yeah, they're at the student, the university radio station, and the thing is, they're going to, oh, because there's a break. So they go in there and they're talk, they're talking. Uh, Bando and Jinju, they talk about everything, and guess what? They're still on the air. <laughs> Everyone heard their gossip that uh, you're cheating, you don't support your child, you uh, you working like that, you're going out with other women or something like that. I'm like, <gasps> everyone's like, 
<laughs> no, because the thing is, I'm like, back then, I think, I, I, yeah, because I know they changed the law. It's just, that was, uh, you know, arrestable back <laughs> Yeah, for cheating, like, bah, bah. because I've seen it a, long, a couple of dramas. Like, uh, you ever seen Big? They're like, bah, bah. they're both in jail. The father put them in jail. Well, they were in there, like, for, like, a day or something like that. Like, you're going to cheat again? Ania, <laughs> But, yeah, that, that, everyone heard their stuff, and they're like, Episode 4. Dokje and Jewu they get uh, stuck outside. Well, they're not stuck. They're locked outside their dorm rooms. And then they're trying to get out. He hops over. I don't know what gave him the idea to put his head through the bars. He, uh, Dokje puts his head in the bar. He's stuck. He's like, go on. Live without me. He waits. He's there in the morning. And then someone's like, look. Oh, Jushi, can you not? Uh, zombie. So the ambulance is there, and the guy with the chainsaw like, vroom, vroom, I'm like, I'm there, I'm there. And then, that's when you hear everyone he listening to the story on the PA system. So they hear this, and everyone's going crazy. And then, Chusol is like, whoo, she hears this? Because now everyone's like, did you hear that story? Oh my god, I can't believe that he left his woman with the child and just ran off. Oh my god. And everyone's talking about her too and all that. And they're like, oh, I can't believe it either. And it's them. And then you see uh, just all giving bundle daggers. Like, yeah, it was just, you see a little romance blossoming or trying to blossom. Yeah, Bando sees Zoji right there. And then uh, it cuts to a part where she's trying to balance her weight. Her teacher's telling her, like, yeah, you have to watch your weight and stuff like that. And she's not eating. Next thing you know, he comes with donuts. She has a little fan club out there, and no one is coming in because they're scared. So he goes in there, he's like, here, anybody want some donuts? Like, oh, I like him. And they're like, oh, Ilawa, da, Tarawa. And everyone's like, come on, Tarawa, Tarawa. <laughs> everyone comes in, they're eating, and the next thing, she faints. He rushes to the hospital, and then they're like, Phew. and then they're eating meat. They're like, come on, Balimogo. <laughs> and she's like, you're like an ajashi. I'm like, oh, it's true. Because the thing is, he's already lived the year, so he's like. So now, uh, Majinju's, uh, Department's having like a little scare hunt in the library. Supposedly he's been haunted. There's a it, it, there's a, a Kishin there or something like that. So next she's in there and she's like, and she's like, wait, I remember this <laughs> because she's one of the persons throwing books dressed all in black. She goes behind him and she's throwing books. And he's like, <laughs> and the next thing you know you see like a guy dressed up like you know uh, the ring. I guess I forgot. What, yeah. And it's hilarious. He's like, I'm gonna scare everybody. And the next thing you know, you see these little hands. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh my god, so cute. You see the hands right there, like, ah. He ran like a track star. Oh, like, oh my god, he need to be in the Olympics. <laughs> so, next thing you know, she gets the star, and then Nam goes right there, and then he hurts himself, and then she helps him. And then it goes to uh, back to Chebondo. He's a. Uh, he sees her. Man Jinju's mom. He's like, <gasps> he stopped and he bought her some food. And then there's some idiot right there uh, acting like a punk. Yeah, he's like, Sagwahe. What? Sagwahe? Chincha? Do you know who I am? I don't care who you are. Just say you're sorry, you're the one that bumped into her. Yeah, and then she said he was sorry. He didn't mean it, but you know what I mean? He was like, Phew. he's like, oh. I can't try, I'm like, oh, what's with that? I'm like, no, no, I can't try, no, I don't mean <laughs> And then, yeah, and then it goes uh, to a flashback where he's like, Biare, the wake. Ooh, yeah. Episode 5. Alright, so now, uh, Jewu joined, uh, what's the name's uh, dance team. He promised he signed a thing, he was drunk when he wrote it. <laughs> yeah, so Boran and Jewu, they're practicing a lot, and then he falls, and then he fell over, and then next thing you know, she kisses him. I was like, oh, and then he gets up, he's like, oh, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> then it cuts to a flashback where we know, well, the thing is, she's treating her dad cold, Majinju. Then we find out why, because supposedly a year after she wants, he wants to remarry. But there's a reason why, like in a later episode, they tell you why. And yeah, she's mad and she's not forgiving him, she's giving her money and stuff like that. He puts some money in her coat, next thing you know, she goes to school. And she's like, we don't take credit cards, cash only, what? Well, it worked last time. No, it's like, oh. He put in some money for her. And he's like, oh, okay. So now, uh, Jinju sees Namgil. 
they're walking down each other, and the girl gives some food, like, Opa! And she's like, oh, Anya, oh. And he's like, how can you reject her like that? Come on, she spent all day. Come on, think of her feelings. Like, it's just going to be in the trash anyway. Oh. I was like, damn. I'm like, listen, you're not a celebrity, all right? If it was, you go, no, because the thing is, celebrities are different because uh, you might want a food tester or have, like, one of those things, like, yep, can't eat it, poison. <clears throat> but now, Namgyal's at the pool. He's hearing the douche doctor talking about, like, oh, yeah, I meant Majin Ju. After I'm done with her, you can have her. <sighs> He's mad, but the thing is, guess who also heard it? Chebando. He heard it, like, nice. He kicked him in the pool. He's like, oh, Chosabida. I thought you were my friend. And he's like, shit. Oh, like, yeah. And then I was like, wow, he's protecting his woman even though they're not together no more. So now, Sejun, Sejun and Bando, they're on a date. They're going to the movie theaters and they're have to, they're about to, you know, they're just having a good old time like a couple. And then it was crazy. He goes to the concession. Like, oh, he sees his father-in-law. He's like, oh, good job. Uh, and he's like, I forgot, popcorn and a Coke or whatever. And then we see Majinju and Namgil there, and they're like, oh shoot. And then they're just talking, talking over. And then, uh, so, uh, so, in, so, in Yon asks, uh, Bando, have you seen this movie before? Uh, 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 Ani, nah, I'm like, ha! <laughs> they're watching, uh, uh, Sori, so, or Shiri. Yeah, it's, it's an espionage movie. I don't want to, oh my god, it's a good movie. I have watched it. The thing is, I didn't cry. That's why I didn't... I mean, I get it. Why people cried? Because it was so... Ouch. Oh, my God. It's about a love story. Yeah. It's about a man chasing an assassin. Later on, finding a secret. A secret that changed the path of his life. And affected him when he did an action. Yeah, you know, it really did. If you watch that movie, I'll probably do a review on that one because I just watched it. It was so good. And I get why he was crying. When, so they show flashbacks of him crying. <laughs> he cried in 1999 with Majinju in the theater. Like, <sighs> oh my God. I'm like, yeah, no. I'm like oh. And then when he's watching it with his father, the same thing, he's crying. And I'm like, can't, can't, can't. And then I'm like, oh, can't. I'm like, oh. J Pet <laughs> And then it showed he's watching in 2017 with his son like oh. <sighs> I was like, oh my god. This time he's not crying. He's like you see other people and they're like watching each other. And then after that he's like, ah, and then it's out. I'm like, oh, I'm just the bypasser. <laughs> Nam and the dad they're introduced in the meeting and after that they're about to eat. They're at a tent. So after their date, uh Bando and Suya, uh, Suya, they're going out and they, she sees dancing. She starts doing ballet to Drunken Tiger. Mm, tiger in the building, a bomb bomb. <laughs> Episode 6. <sighs> I'm telling you, I'm already having second lead syndrome. I'm like, we, we all know she's not going to get with Namgil. Alright, it happens in every drama. The second lead never gets the girl. <sighs> so now it shows... Uh, a f well, a f it's a flashback, but they're in the present. She buys a dress online, and it's cute. And she's like, oh, and I'm like, whoo, she looks good. I'm like, good lord, 38, and she looks like that? That's what I'm talking about. So she buys the dress, she feels pretty, and then she asks the bando, he's like, why are you wearing that? Why are you showing your legs? Act your age. That's what he is. So she feels bad and she sends it back and I'm like, Bandu knows that they're date, that they're kind of dating. And I'm going, he's sizing up like, shoulders. <laughs> so they walk, they're talking to each other again. And then, uh, Dokje, he's like, Bandu, can you let me borrow that video? He's like, oh, video? Oh, he has a whole collection. Western, Ilbon, what, what do you like? <laughs> he's like, oh, Bandu, Che Bandu, you must be very healthy. I was like, oh my God. God, uh, they're talking. Uh, they're, they're talking about the stuff uh, guys and girls do in private sometimes, <laughs> and I'm like, wow. <laughs> he was oh my god, he was talking about porn. <laughs> he has a whole collection. Western, I was like, wow. Western meaning, um, you know, the U.S. and I'm like, Oof. The, yeah, back then, 1999. Yeah, tapes, uh, DVDs came like a couple years after, or 
was it that same year? I mean, they were expensive, so I didn't buy any. I was buying VHS. Voron and Jewu, they're getting all lovey-dovey, and then comes, It's beautiful life. It's beautiful life. I'm like, oh my, and then boom, it stopped. <laughs> so now it's the day of the festival. And uh, Majinju is helping out. She's cooking everything. And then the army's coming in, like, we're here. So she's helping with the serving, and everyone's like, oh, this is good. And they're like, oh, can you help us? Can you give us 100 servings? Like, oh, I don't know. And then they're like, oh, I got an idea. And then next thing you know, the, the guy from the army, he has a wheelbarrow. He puts a bunch in the, right there, and then pff, he's cutting it. And then it was like, ah, oh, chicha. And she's like, She's acting normal because you're like, oh, it'll wash off. I, the thing is, there's been some times where I'm like, like, oh, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then I'm like, oh, whatever. Now, if it's beer, that's kind of different because it, yeah. I mean, I don't drink beer, but if someone, like, had their beer right there on the table, like, say we go to Neumann and flips it, and I'm like, oh, man. It doesn't, I mean, it'll go off, but then, like, some people are like, you smell like beer. I'm like, yeah. It's right here <laughs> on my knee. That's where it fell. But I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't like telling my life story when it's like that. <laughs> So they're at the booth, and the next thing you know, uh, Bundo and In Young they're at they're out on a date, and then his department sees them like, oh, so instead of helping us, you wanted to go on a date. I'm this one name. So next they put him right there in the thing, and then Roger Drew comes and, like, and then Doctor is like, come on, it's fifty cents. I'll give you a dollar. Whew, she becomes a pitcher, and she's throwing these balloons at him and she's enjoying every minute and then In Young's like can you stop it it looks like it's hurting him <laughs> so now someone dropped out from the May Queen festival because she wanted to do it many years ago and then now she's like come on do it so Namgyu is there he bought her a dress he wanted to get her something and he's like it's my sister don't worry she wears it she's a knockout she gets up there she starts singing and I'm like oh my god and then I'm like oh my god I remember her when she sings too I like it when she does uh, in the music video the mp3 version I like the live version because she sings it with power and then the uh, Sweet Dreams I remember that song too and she's doing good next thing you know she didn't win everyone's like oh, rigged so now she's changing the thing is her restroom well, she's in the department building and nah it says closed, so she goes into the guy's restroom, and then there's these guys talking about her, and she's like, what? Ooh, she hears it, and then Nam goes right there, but he he didn't know she was there, and then he goes into the thing, like, oh my god, and they're like, wait, okay, coast is clear, he's about to leave, guess who goes in there? Mm-hmm, Chebam the Godbogger, ruining everything, episode 7, yeah, so, Bondanju is pissed, he is angry. He goes and he's like, Lugoya. He's like, who are you? He's like, I'm her friend. No, he's, she's not, he's not my friend. Majinju's like, mm-mm. She's embarrassed. Walk away. They get in an argument like, second lead and first lead are arguing. Yeah, they're mad. And then this scene is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Jewu calls up a radio station and his pen name is Tinkerbell. And he, his name, his voice is uh, covered up. And then it's uh, Lee Sang-min. <laughs> And they're like, oh, Ande, she didn't treat you like that. Ah, I like he, no, 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 I'm just. They clicked on him before he said that. <laughs> and then he was talking to the guy. He's like, oh, man, I'm never gonna get divorced. So I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, at least they didn't talk about his debt. <laughs> if you know, if you ever watch the no show Knowing Brothers, they always make fun of him because of his debt. He's like, no. He's like, oh, thank you. Don't worry, that's going to his creditors. Wow, like if he makes money, it's going to all that. That's messed up. It was funny when I forgot the the tall guy. He was in a uh, giant. He's like, young. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> he's always. I, I mean, I hope. I don't think he's in that, that bad of a debt. But the yeah. thing is, everyone has debt. Like student loans. Ever heard of that? <sighs> yeah. So he's thinking about being with. Well, he's thinking about the relationship dynamic with. Bora. Like, why does she want to be with me? Why would a woman? I'm like, oh my god, he's overthinking it. I'm like, come on, come on, come on, So I'm like, oh, I look like a man. Nope. Yeah, he's like, and then he heard a book J. He's like, she said it like, cause you're easy. He's like, I'm easy. I'm like, oh my god. 
it's reverse. He's the woman, she's the man. So now, imagine you heard what the creepy doctor, you know, the player doctor heard everything. Was like, oh, shit. Oh, don't worry, she's just nothing to me. I'll, I'll use it. I'll give it to her. Like, what? Mo? <laughs> so she hears all this and she gets a uh, chimbando, like, working on a plan, what they're going to do, and it's getting juicy. It was crazy. They were talking about the plan and she has a whole spider web thing. And she's like, wow. How did you get like this? Watching dramas. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> like, yeah, there are some crime dramas where you're like, yeah, you gotta do it. So next, the plan is she's gonna pretend that she's rich. He's gonna overhear it. And he does overhear it and takes her to his medical department function thing. And him, Bando, he talks to all of his girlfriends that he's talking to. And he puts them all in one place. But before this all happening, he confronts him. The creepy doctor, they're at the function. The creepy doctor confronts Majin Ju. like, you're not rich. I checked. There's, you only have sons. What? 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 And then he's like, who do you take me for? He's about to hit her. Oh. Hits him in the no-nose. And then he runs and then he grabs him and then kicks him too. And then he's embarrassed because all of his girlfriends are there. Like, no, no, no. I don't like her more than you. No, no. Come on. Can I? And then the main girlfriend, the one that he's using just for money, she walks in. She's crying and everything. But the thing is, she knew about it. But, like, the, yeah, she really did love him. She wanted Because she didn't think she would get anyone else. And I was like, wow. And then she asked them, like, who are you guys? And they're like, oh, I'm her boyfriend. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, why? Are, I'm older than you guys. Why are you guys talking to me formally? Oh, oh, me. <laughs> oh, my God. And then there's a moment where they see, see like a, jum, a, jung, a jungle gym? And they think of Sedra. Sedra! Oh, my God. They think of the sun. And they're both crying. And then he walks her home. And the thing is, she's in trouble. And he runs. And like, is he gonna save her? Oh my god! Episode 8. Namgil to the rescue! Oh my crap. He's beating the crap out of her. He's like, oh, we should call the cops. No need for the police. I'm gonna send him to the underworld. I was like, oh shoot. So he's beating, he's not beating him, he's just kicking him down, peeking him down. And then, Ajinju is giving him a lecturing. Like a Ajuma. He's like, I could be someone's precious daughter or something, or don't act as I was like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, she's giving him a lecture about what happened the whole thing. I'm like, okay. And then the thing is, when he was running, he was running to Inyoung. He was running to her, so Inyoung. And she was running away from home because she's having problems with her dad because they always want her to do competitions for a ballet. So she has all of her clothes right there. And then uh, Chebando's like, where are you staying? Uh, how about a motel? And then next he goes full Ajashi. He's like saying, How dare you go to a hotel with a man? I was like, Oh my god. Like, you're going straight home. I was like, Wow. I was like, Oh my god. Okay, shoot. Most men were like, Hey. And then he was like, Uh uh. You, uh the thing is, like, we all, at that part, I was like, He doesn't like her like that. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't like, I mean, yeah, he thought he did, but I'm like, mm, mm I'm like, if you're sending a, if, you, if you're being the bigger person, like, how, oh my God, woman, have some class. How dare you take a man to a hotel, like, have, ask him to go to a hotel with you and sleep the night. <laughs> that was funny, because at first I was like, bow, shake a bow, and then when he drags her, he's like, no, you are going home. I was like, what? I was like, yeah, I just shit. <laughs> so next thing you know, her dad does show up, because she said, my dad doesn't even care about me. I'm like, did you see a shirt? He was looking for you. Yeah, it was all sweaty. He cares about you. And they're like, let's talk about everything. Go home. And they went home. And the next thing you know, they meet the next day. And they're like, oh, I know you don't like me. Well, oh, he's trying to hide it. But we all know that he doesn't. And then she said, you're going to regret not going to the hotel with me. Oh, <laughs> he's like, stop it. <laughs> oh, my shit. That was funny. Saul is missing. So she's missing. No one knows where she's at. And uh, they're like, should we file a missing person report? So next what happens is Dr. J needs money. So he goes to his father's restaurant, takes the money out, and then he's like, oh, no, no. He runs away. <laughs> he's all his daddy is running. He's like, I want to kill you. And then he goes into the freezer. He's like, 
It's just, uh, it's her. He's like, what? What the? Oh my god. And then she, she told him like why she's working, because her family, a business gone down. She wants to make money for him, but <laughs> she's a good daughter. <gasps> and she told him not to tell anyone. The next day, uh, Boram said she filed a missing person report. He hears this, he feels bad. Like he tells them, they go to her, and then her mom goes. And she tells him the whole thing, like, I don't need school, like, I can, I need to make money for my family because they need it. And then her mom goes there and tells her, what is wrong with you? Go to school. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. It's not your responsibility. They're like, oh, my God. She's crying. They're crying. We're all crying. So as they're walking back, Jinjo sees a mother and the baby, like, oh, you put on. And then it kicks in. Every time she sees a baby, she thinks of her baby. And she's crying again. And then, uh, next... I'm like, oh my god, he's back. Chevando, he's right there. He's like, oh. she's like, what, what's going on? He's crying on her shoulder. I'm like, oh my god, let it be real. Let it. I'm like, episode nine. Yeah. It was all a dream. I was reading Word Up magazine. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was all a, yeah, it wasn't real. So he's walking back to school, and the rich girl, the one, uh, uh, Yeti is offering him a ride, and he's like, "Oh, oh no, can't you now?" So he gets a ride, and the next thing you know, cause she likes him, she's smiling and she's perking and all that, and th now he's like, "Hmm." He's thinking about his future. Uh, he probably be. He's like, "Ah, oh, I'm dead." Oh. He's like, uh, "He's like, no." He was like, "Shoot, maybe he should get with her, cause she has money." He was thinking that he's gonna be a bosses of bosses. Oh, so next, Majinju sees a woman yelling at so a student. Because she spilled her thing, like, you see this? Oh my god, this is expensive! And then she's giving her a talking to, like, what? Like, how dare you act like that? Come on, you should be teach you should be setting an example. <gasps> and the next thing you know, she wants to slap her, and then Namgil stops her, and then boom, we find out that's his mom? Yeah, that's his mom, yeah. And that was pretty much it right there, and like, ooh. So now, Jeju, Dok uh, I mean, yeah, Jeju, Dokje, and Jewondo, they're reading mangas, and then they see of the club and then this some guy's like did you see a poster spontaneous oh huh? spontaneous uh field trip i'm like and then they're like oh crap it's right here <laughs> and then next like light bulb spontaneous trip because next they're showing clips everyone looks like they're getting like kidnapped and i'm like what yeah uh, sol put on and then majinju they're like Phew. They took it away and they're like, oh, what's going on? And like, spontaneous trip! <laughs> and I'm like, next they're supposed to go somewhere. And they're like, where are they going? <laughs> they didn't know they were going. It was, the thing is, there's supposed to be a tunnel, but it wasn't made in 1999. So now they're just stuck somewhere. And this also happens too. So, Chebando's parents and Majinjun's parents, they intertwine. They meet at a watering well. And the thing is, I'm like, do they still have these wells in in Korea? Like, uh, I mean, the you know the spring wells. Like, I like, I don't know. I just uh, haven't seen that. Like, I mean, I've seen it in dramas, but I'm like, I don't know if they, they do. But uh, they're right there, they're getting water, and the next, you know, they get in a fight. Well, not a fist fight. First, it was an argument because Chebando's dad cut it, the line. He's like, "What are you doing? You're cutting." He's like, and then they're arguing, like, what do you mean cut? I was here first. You were slower. He's like, I, oh, like, it was, f and the next thing you know, she, he's yelling at her. He's like, don't be yelling at my wife like that. He's like, do, do. He's like, oh. and then, like, and then, uh, uh Chebando's mom is trying to calm down her husband. The next thing you know, she, uh, uh, Majinju's mom throws water at him, and then it's a big old water fight. They're not having fun. It's crazy. I'm like, oh my God, this is hilarious. Because the thing is, there's another water fight, but I'll tell you in a minute. It, I'm like, wow, that is just crazy. Yeah, your your former in your future in laws are meeting for the first time over a water fight because they're fighting over spring water. So they're lost. Yeah, everyone on the trip. They didn't know what that, so they just stopped somewhere. So Dokje brought food, soju, ramen. Yeah, he thought they needed more stuff. I think he has like six kilos of pork belly. I was like, wow. You couldn't have, like, you know, brisket or pulgogi. Anything else? Talk. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. So now they're just eating, enjoying the food. And then Jewu and Boran are singing Miracle <laughs> from K 
Kim uh, Kim Rol Kim Rol Kim Dong Rol yeah and uh Liung Liungi I can't remember. I know how that song like uh no da kana ninji nare bora na no sude no tande chaga naru na da ya ke ashi naru hi o do nasaki ka de maki ake yo it was funny, they're singing it there, and then they have a flashback of showing them when they're singing it at Chebando and Majinju's wedding. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's for the high care. Kira no mo, the mom, 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 Nara na chimu soke kaita Wow! Hanbo jo saigo no hago tunda guturi Iroke That's all I'm ever gonna do in Chemal jo sa meda Alright, but yeah, they're having fun and then they go to sleep and then they wake up They parked at a construction site Everyone's like, oh The thing is, I probably would have been pissed I'm they're working in the morning, I'm like, wow, these guys had fun at my construction site. Like, look at them, they have beer, soju, meat. <sighs> Sorry, ma. I'm envious. So now they go to the beach, they're having fun. Everyone jumps in, except for Majinju, she's watching like she's a mother. And then they get in a water fight, and then Bando throws water at her, and they's like, <sighs> get the hose and the water in now, and they're having fun. And then guess who's there? Namgil. I was like, ooh, who called? Guess, yep. Sol called him. Right there, and the next they're just eating, they're having food, and they're sitting next to each other because Chebando, yep, he likes her back, he likes her again, he's got those love feelings again for his ex-wife. They're there. She spills beer on herself, and the thing is, they're trying to help her, and she wants to wear the shirt, it has couple look, because Bora and Chebu, they have the couple look, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> so next thing you know, she's like, okay. <laughs> She takes uh, Chebando's shirt, and both of them are wearing the couple look, and it says, I'm with my love. <laughs> oh my god. It was, they're like, oh my god, you look so adorable. Kyota! Yeah! <laughs> Ippula! I'm like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, they were like, oh my god. I think one of them was like, I see a whole new side of you, Chebando! I was like, what? <laughs> and the next he remembers Chebando. He remembers them being, seeing uh, fireflies with the rat. And he goes to her looking for her, and then he sees Majinju and Namgil there, and he's like sad. <sighs> Episode 10. Two more episodes! This is a 12, ser 12 episode drama. I thought it was going to be more. I don't know if it was right. This was a good, I liked it. This was my favorite one this year. Like literally, because I'm like, Ooh. it had so much right there. I mean, what else? Uh, what? Wait, what did I say? I mean, I don't know if you count Goblin because it finished it in 2007, you know, and then... Legend of Lucy. Wow, I don't know. I guess I haven't. Well, well anyway, this one, I, I like this drama. Yeah. Right, if you've been watching this long, I don't know, write down. Chebamba, write down the. Oh my god, you can even write down the baby's name if you want to. Or Chongpenny. <laughs> yeah, Cheapskate. You can write Cheapskate if you want. That thing is hilarious. So, Sol is getting drunk again. Yeah, she's getting drunk, and then, uh, Dokje is. Prepared, he's like, no, no, no. You'll probably eat this too. Yeah, guess what happens? He falls. He leaves his phone right there. She grabs it. She doesn't eat it. She takes out the numbers, like right there. Like, uh, remember those flip phones where it's just right there? She's taking them out, and they're like, <gasps> he doesn't notice, and then he sees the next one. Chosa! He's chasing her. It was funny. I was like, I used to have a phone like that, and then I used to use it a lot, and then I'm like, okay, I need a new phone. That's how I knew I need a new phone because the buttons were coming off. So she's all sneaky. She made no room in the van. So Majinju and Namgil could ride back together. And they do. And Michael Jackson is back in Korea. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. And everyone's happy. And then, oh my god, the, her mom's doing the moonwalk. I'm like, oh, she'll get it. Doom, 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 doom. Hmm. Hmm. Hee hee. Ow! They're having fun, and then 
it was crazy, it was fun. And then you see her sister, like, acting like whatever, and then Majin Ju has a heart-to-heart -heart with her sister, like, you should treat her better. You're like, what is going on? Like, like you know, just having, like, a little chat, not being arguing with her, like, come on, treat her right, cherish her, and I'm like, why are all these onions here? Why? So, uh, Majin Ju's in pain. Ladies, you know what pain I'm talking about. Her monthly bill. <laughs> yeah, so she's like, oh, and I'm like, oh. So she calls the only person she can trust. Chabando. She calls him, and then he's like, he goes into the liquor store and think, this is 1999. And the thing is, even think about it now. I don't know a lot of men. Me, I've done it before. I actually, like, shoot. I remember my sister one time. She's like, we want to buy it. Can you buy this for me? I'm like, what the hell? She had a coupon for, uh, camp packs. And every no one was looking at me, and then no one cared. I was like, "Thank God." Me, I was sweating like, "Oh my God, this is so embarrassing." <laughs> but and then I was like, "Oh," and then after that, I was like, "Shoot, I'm getting it cheap." I'm like, 50 cents." I remember like, "What Shh, coupon, lady? You gotta wait for the sales." But yeah, he goes to the liquor store, and everyone's laughing, and then like, oh, he's like, "Wait, wait, wait." He got him first, and then he's like, "No, no, this is not the her kind that she likes. Same brand, but it's different uh, effects or something like that." I guess it was more the extra exorbitant I have no idea so he buys them and the next thing you know uh, he's waiting in the girls restroom and then uh, Dok Che uh, is like Pyong Tae oh. and then after that he's like what are you doing and then he sees Bo Dong like hey, give this to uh, Ma Jin Ju she needs it She'll, you'll know what it is and he's like, oh. okay and then he bows and then he's like oh. He, if like at first he seemed stone cold, like cool, like he like it does not bother him. It it did. I was like, wow. So now the next part, everyone is watching the video. They're watching porn. <laughs> okay, so they have the t back then tape. Yeah, VHS. I was like, wow. I'm like, she was like, yeah, that's happened to me when I was younger, a long time ago. It was funny. Yeah. So what happened is they're watching it. It's uh. Dokche and uh, Chebu, and then they're looking at each other, and then Dokche said that they're like, you're so lucky to have a girlfriend. He's like, yeah! Don't be thinking of her like that! <laughs> oh, like, wow. And then, oh my god, the ladies, they were looking at it too. Bodan and all her friends are like, oh, you're just a virgin. Like, yeah, stop it. And they're looking at it, and they're like, oh. and the next thing you know, they go on a date, and then they're sleeping together, but they're not doing that. They're just sleeping the same. And then she, he's blowing on her leg, and she's thinking like, no, no, and then she's putting he's putting cream on it because she has a scar. I was like, oh, the next thing I know they're sleep they are sleeping together but sleeping happily. She's like, oh, she knows that they thought they were about, she, she was thinking that they were gonna do it and like no, he was just being uh, helpful. He was just being a care caring. There you go. Like even though like yeah they want to but the thing is they're like. We saw that, and then he, I guess he wasn't thinking of that. I mean, they probably are, but the thing is. So next, Ma Jinju and her whole family go to karaoke. And she asks the owner to record it. And he's like, oh, your mother can sing. She's really good. He's like, thank you. She's recording it because she dies a couple years later. I think ten years after. Yeah. <sighs> She's just recording it for that. And then next thing you know, you see uh, Chebando bringing food. And he's... She doesn't want him there, but and then he tells her off, like, you don't think I miss her, too? She's my mother, too. I'm like, oh. he is crying and letting her go. And right there, I was like, whoa. And it stops right there for the episode. But they show in the epilogue that, well, he was, oh, not an epilogue, but they were showing him stuff where he will always like, see kids smoking. He wants to stop them, intervene. And then he sees someone's bullying. And then after that, he gets in a fight with these kids. And she has to go to the police station. She called him. He's like, oh my god, I have to see my mom. I have to see my mom. And, he's, and she goes there crying. Like, why do you always do this? Why do you always do this? But he was telling them, I gotta be somewhere. I gotta be somewhere. He's like, you hit them too. I'm like, yeah. But the, you see how many kids were against him? Shoot. Stupid. So she's crying. Next is the day of her wake. That's the day Michael Jackson died. And uh, I was like, shoot. So sh whew, she said, he said, and yeah. Episode 11. So he's crying, and then the mom comes out. He's like, what's going on? What are he's like, oh, how you doing? And then he bows. He's like, he's like oh, we're talking about some a friend's mom. And then she offers him to eat. And you can see the sadness in his eyes when he sees her, like, 
right there in front of him because he knows what happens in the future, both of them. And they're just eating food, and the father's like, are you dating? And like, Ania. She's like, Ania, like, right there. And it's awkward, the thing, but they're eating food and stuff. They're eating. And then they show, uh, from the future, uh, well, past, when she died, she went, like, in depression. Uh, like, she was just like, she couldn't, she would cry all the time. He didn't uh, console her because he didn't know if, he, if she wanted to. Well, you could tell, yeah, he didn't know, like, if she would uh, take, take the affection. And he would buy her stuff, food, and everything, try to make her happy. And then she's saying, you should have did that. You should have hugged me. You should have cared for me. You should have did all the things right there. And I'm like, Phew. And then this part, it's funny. Uh, there's, a little, there's stuff that happened, but uh, there were moments that I liked. But this moment I did like. Tokje. He's not drunk. He sees a can, kicks it. It hits his department leader. He's like, oh, just over there. And then he's like, F and then he flips him off. And like, <gasps> he's like, oh. he's like, and then he runs away. And then the next day he sees him. He's about to give him a beating. He has like a two by four. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't know. I, I was drunk. I just, I just got drafted to the army. <laughs> they hug him. <laughs> like, oh my. And they're like, we know your pain. Let's get drinks. What? <laughs> oh, like, oh, shoot. So they're drinking and they're like, yeah, they're having fun. Like, oh my god, you're taking this well. Most people will be crying when finding out they got drafted. So next thing you know, he's drinking, goes to the restroom, his mom calls. He's like, so that, wah, wah, wah. Uh, I'm just having friends. I told him, like, I told him I got drafted in the army. Something in the mail came in. Oh, no. Something in the mail came in for you. And he's like, oh, it's your draft card. <sighs> I'm too young. It can't come in. No, no, no. You, you were born a year earlier. So I'm like, what? You got drafted into the army? And then he is crying. When he gets to the drink, he's like, <laughs> he's crying. Yeah, now he's really, like, crying because he did get drafted to the army. So now, Majinju and her mom are going for a walk. They're enjoying more time because she wants to enjoy more time with her, you know, these these moments. She sees a drunk guy acting like, what about me? i done everything. i try to do this. I'm doing this. And then he think she's thinking of Chebando because he was working hard for them. She gets it now. She got the whole thing like, because she told him about the whole thing that he was cheating and all that and she got it that he wasn't cheating. He was doing all those spending on the credit card just to, for clients and just to get people for his uh So what happens next? She's like, where are you at? Let's meet. So it's great. Nam so they're meeting. Everyone's going to... Namgil's right there. And uh, there's this boy. He has a ball. He drops it. And uh, she's... She, the, there's cars coming. There's still traffic coming. So she gets the boy. And then Namgil freezes. But the thing is, not because he he's just like, he's about to go... Chebando runs like the flash. He ran, pushed him. He got hit. He gets hit by the car. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. and then she sees that she's running to him. Oh my gosh, she is crying right there, and she's like, Yaba, Yaba, stay with. She's like, stay with me, stay with me. No, no. Oh, Lord. like right there, he loves her. That is love, okay? Like, I don't care right there. Like, shoot, you jump into someone that is like, even though, like, yep, you love them. Yep, and she loves them, too. Shoot, she called them yobo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people, like, chagia, whatever, like, oh, that's, but, like, no, 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 no. That's when you're, like, yeah. She, and she's, like, stay with me. And then he closes his eyes. Pfft. Episode 12. The final episode! If you made it this long, thank you. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know, like, some, I remember one person, uh, told me, maybe you should do it in Spanish, I'm like, I don't know if I want to do it all in Spanish, because I would have to think of it, I'll think of it in English, and then I'll have to, it's like, you know, like, you kind of like Google search, I'll write it, and then I'll say it out, that's all, like, it'll take me forever. Now, when I'm doing, like, shows, like, Spanish shows, or if I ever see, like, a Spanish movie, and I do a review, I probably would do it in, in Spanish, but right here, I was like, yeah. Shoot, if I, if I could, I would do it in Hangul. I get Chebondo and Majinjun Saranarik. <laughs> so he's knocked out. Next thing you know, they're rushing to the OR. And then she wants to sign all the forms. She's like, I know everything. I know he's allergic to peaches. I know his allergies. I know everything. And she does know everything. They've been together for, like, what, 18 years? 
and yeah, she won't let him unless his family member. And then his parents come and they're rushing over, and she's like, "Oh, oh, oh name. She ca called him. She yeah, Madame Ju called her her future mother-in-law. They're like, what? Uh, uh. So next thing you know, days are passing by, and he still can't see her. And then finally, the mom tells her like, he's okay. And then the water works, and she gives her a back hug because I was like, oh my god. He's like, I hope I see you again in the future. I'm like, oh, it was a beautiful moment. So he's up and about, and he's avoiding her. And then Tokje found out the whole thing was going on. He's like, uh-uh. He's like, oh, I have someone for you to see. He steps out. They talk. He's avoiding her for a reason like that. And then he tells her, basically, kind of like a breakup, but he wants, he tells her that, like, I want you to spend more time with your mother. Like, you shall enjoy all this time, be with her. And they're like, what about Seju? He's like, oh, I, that's one thing I'll regret giving up. And then after, she's crying, and then after when she leaves, ooh, that hit him like a ton of bricks. He's giving up his son so she could be happy with her, the, the, her mother. And I'm like, shh. I'm not, no, no, that's, for me, that's not selfish. That's, because the thing is, the, her mother does die 10 years from now. And I'm like, whew. I'm like, wow, that's love. Cheba. What happened was Chebando found out how he they can go back. The, he thinks it's the rings because every time in the drama they always go to their wedding finger. Wait, is it this? Ha uh, when the, yeah, there's that space, and they he notices it, and like maybe it's the ring. So he buys the same rings that when they were looking them up together. But the thing is, uh. He has the case right there. Next thing you know, everyone's there. Uh, Sol, Moram, Jewu, Dokje. They're there. They're there to comfort him. But what's name's all cold because he's getting all emo and scary because he's going to the army. And then what's name like it starts like that? Denial, anger. He'll be okay. <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> because yeah, he went to the army too. Next thing you know, Majinju meets with Namgyo. She dumps him. I'm like, no. Nah! Are you out your mind, woman? He's gonna be super, super rich. I'm like, oh, look, you can make, a, you can have a Seju 2.0. Okay, did you see the Lux? Oh my God, just artificially enhance your babies through a computer and see them. It will be epicness. Unless cute and cute does come true, where you know, like cute and cute makes an ugly baby because uh, there is a theory: ugly and ugly make a beautiful baby. But I don't know if that's true. Next thing you know, <laughs> Dokje he goes to the barber. He's like, can you give me a good style? Like you're going to the army. He's like, ah. And then he's like, oh, it's cold. And that was the last we saw of him. So, Majin Ju's mom, she saw the letter. She read it. She read everything. And then she talks to Majin Ju and tells her, I know everything. I read the letter. I know about Sejuni and all that. I'm like, oh. And then she, know yeah, the whole, like, it's okay. You can go. You know? And they're, hug they're crying right there and hugging. Like, oh. Yes, and the next thing you know, uh, Majun calls, I'm like, let's go together. And they're like, oh, and then they kiss, I'm like, and I'm like, oh my god, look at the way they kiss it. Oh lord, they are progressive. <laughs> no, because usually when there's a K-drama kiss, it's just like, one of those, like, pecs or whatever. This, I'm like, wow, that is passionate kiss, okay? They, I don't know if they practice for, like, a minute or two, or, like, maybe, t but that was, a, I was like, wow, that was cool. I'm like, all right. Right there, I'm like, wow, they're kissing like a, a married couple, like you know what I mean. So they wear the rings, and they're like, let's go back. And they also before that, they, we found out why uh, Boran dumped Jewu. She can't have kids. And I was like, like he never knew that. She never told him. Not even in the future. And then he, I was like, oh shoot, that's what happened right there. Like, damn. No. Stop. <laughs> but yeah, next thing you know, they're back! The baby's right there, and then they're hugging and they're crying. I'm like, oh my god, the family's back. I'm like, yes! They're back! I'm like, oh my god, finally. And then we always, f and then we find out uh, a couple episodes ago that he said we, he wants to get remarried. But the thing was, Majinju's mom told him, don't be alone. Because they show a thing where he's just him being alone, and like he, he might be miserable, and always visit him or something like that. And 
that she does tell him to visit him a lot, like before, and then, and then he's telling Chebando that the mother told me like, yeah, I should remarry and stuff like that. Like I shouldn't be alone because the thing is, he's not eating like he used to. He's just like eating whatever. And then I was like, oh, I get it. It's just to not live alone. That's why she thinks it's too early. But she was like, even if I die, like you should remarry. I'm like, whoa. So she gets that next thing you know, they are spending more time together. So they're back, and then next it goes to a part where uh, Chibu was on a blind date, and this woman is like talking about, uh, how much do you make? Oh, no, we're talking about marriage. Forget about going out. I'm like, what? And then you hear a guy talking about, like, oh, you have a little wrinkle in your neck. I'm like, this guy is old as hell talking about you have a little wrinkle. He's like, are you trying to challenge me? And then he turns around like, Ma! I'm like, what do you want? I'm like, I'm like oh, the, uh or something like that, and I'm like, oh lord, I'm like, no, but the woman, that he has a date, I'm like, oh, gold digger, <laughs> but she was hot, but oh my gosh, she looked, well, the thing is, I always found her attractive, but when she wore that dress suit, I'm like, whoo, good lord, woman, she, uh, not a lot of people can rock purple, like, they're a separate prince, but yeah, they, and then they, get, we find out they get back together, so next, family reunion, uh, they meet with her dad, they're having fun, they're having a good time, and uh, s something's changed a little bit. They're like, what? We have a car? Okay, what's going on? We find out that they don't care about the kids part. They're just going to enjoy their lives, go on cruises, stuff like that. I'm like, oh, all right. So next, they're waiting because th the parents are meeting there. And the mom's, yeah, she did pass away. That like, She did in, in their past, too. Their real future. Chab on those parents are rolling up in a car with a chauffeur. Yeah, this pa this reality has pa has changed. What's going? On? Oh my, he has. She's wearing jewelry. She's wearing mink. He's like, oh. he's like, what? Oh, what you? He's like, oh, I invested. Pyongko? He's like, yeah, I invested like you told me and everything. And like, and like we're rich. Who? Huh. Where? <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> oh, like wow. He's like, oh my god. He was all happy, and then and then it goes to the celestial future. I'm like, oh my god. This looks like one of those like you ever watch those uh, Chinese dramas? It kind of looked like that, or it could have been like in the future of Final Fantasy. And they're like, oh. she was doing the same thing. Chung penny, chung penny, chung penny, and throws the rings down there, celestial rings. And then it says right there, they call them celestial rings. It makes a wish or something like that. Because that's what they wish they could go back in time. Remember back to, And I'm like, wow. But the thing is, this is a comedy, alright? It's not like one of those where I'm like, how dare they do that? And I'm like, I get it right there. And then I'm like, go back, couple, go back, couple, boo -boo. awesome. But anyway, this was, yeah, this was it. This is episode 12 of the finale. <sighs> well, anyway, it was a good drama. I love it. Chang'an and Chuzo. They were both good characters. I'm like, oh, it was great. I had a fun time watching this. Anyway, I recommend you watch it. Listen, oh, the OST. It is, oh. You probably will cry. Listen, it's so young. So young. So young. She is singing it. She sings in that heavenly angel voice. In <sighs> Hejang. Gopta. <laughs> Alright, uh, anyway, please come right, sir. Have a take care.